At times when decay is left untreated, it leads to complete breakdown of the crown. The dentist is left with a broken tooth with no walls left for support. During such situations, an extra step needs to be undertaken after the root canal is completed. This procedure is known as post and core. A post and core connects the root canal treated tooth to a crown. As the name suggests, this procedure involves two parts, that is, placement of the post and then the reinforcement using a core material to build up a core. There are two basic types of posts available, metal and fiber. The metal post is either cemented or screwed into the canal, whereas the fiber post is bonded with the root canal and acts as a monoblock with the core material. The core built-up can be done using two different filling materials, silver amalgam and reinforced composite. Once the root canal is cleaned, shaped and filled, a post space is prepared using special drills. A correct size and shape post is selected. If your dentist is using a metal post, he or she will shape the post to match the post space created in the root canal. The post space is then dried. The cement is mixed and the post is cemented into the post space. Usually, a silver amalgam based core is built up on a metal post. If your dentist is using a fiber post, he or she will use special sequential drills to shape the post space to receive a good fitting post. The post space is then dried and pre treated with an acid based etch. An adhesive is applied to the walls of the root canal. A special cement is then mixed and the post is then bonded to the root canal walls. After the post is in place, a composite based material is used to build up the lost tooth structure. A post and core helps in strengthening the remaining tooth structure and prevents further breakage. The core is then shaped to receive a crown. 